Hey guys, it's Kingston Chambers here, so welcome to another video. So this video is going to be every single Nerf Blaster I have, except for the ones that are broken, and except for the one that I got rid of or didn't want to pack up with me. So anyway guys, let's get to it. So we're going to go to the Nerf Blasters, attachments, and my top picks. And by the way, my video, if it's trim, if on my iPod, if it detects a YouTube video, over 40 minutes, no, I mean over 14 minutes, one fourth, or, yeah, something like that, or I should say like 12 minutes, something like that, I don't know, then, basically, we're kind of like 16, I don't know, it's between 12, 14, it's between 14 or 16 minutes, or if 12, that means it says video too long past that. So we're going to try to make this as short or, and as entertaining as possible. So anyway guys, let's get to it. So I'm going to do a very quick overview of all of them and my top picks and my accessories. So let's get to it. So I got the Nerf Triad 3-shot Smart AI System Blaster Pull Down and Fire. I actually have two of these. Because my uncle gave this one a couple days to me, and this one is the old one I reviewed. The Night Finder. Single shot. And yeah, we're not going over the blasters in order how I bought them, we're just, you know, going over them. So, Night Finder. Two dark storage, pull back and fire. Pretty good. The Fang. Four shot smart AI system, hits pretty hard. The Big Shock. Single shot. Dark Storage, one of my favorite Mega Blasters of all time. The Trio. It's basically a triad, but worse. Three Dark Storage, it's pretty good, but I don't think it comes close to the triad. But yeah. And... The Disruptor. Six shots, top prime, with slam fire. One of my favorite nerf blasters of all time. The Magnus. I actually have two of these because it's an internal magazine, slide action springer. Yeah, this is my old one. The prime is pretty good. But this Prime is smoother, and this one actually hits harder, kind of. I don't know why, it's not modded, but it kind of hits harder, which is pretty cool. The Busby Air Max Baron. This is one of my favorite Busby Blasters, because Top Prime... And yeah, two duds. Pretty good. The HCE. I actually have two of these blasters because this, my brother gave this to me, and now I got this, so I got two of these. This, the Reflex 6. Six shots, pull back, pretty good, but not as good as the Disruptor Cyclone Shock. Flip Fury or Access. This the SR Hammer Action Four Shots Smart AI System. It's pretty good for a Fortnite Blaster. The Tri Break. I didn't mod this to shoot harder, but I did, in fact, mod it to take off that front piece because it's kind of unnecessary. And it looks kind of like a trio, and you can reload it easier on the fly. The Cyclone Shock. This one's a six shot pistol. One of my favorite Mega Blasters of all time. And also kind of like the Disruptor, or at least better than the Disruptor, because it's a Mega Revolver. 
the modulus recon the modulus recon mug 2 top prime magazine fed packs a pretty good punch the vault one of my favorite glasses of all time because it's slick, smooth, looks cool, and compact. Single shots, dirt storage, pretty awesome package. Excuse me. We got the Flip Fury, a Todd Prime. So we got this, 6 shots, 6 shots, 12 shots. And has slam fire, which is pretty good for a pistol, but kind of big. Bigger than the X sets, which I reviewed a couple days ago. You can see that in a link. Then, yeah. What else? The disruptor. This is six shots, top prime. Also has slam fire which makes a pretty good pistol. Now, the Cobra. Fullback. Works pretty good for a blaster like this. And I think it's better than the Reflex 6, actually. Nah, the, Re the Reflex 6 is actually better. Take that back. Then we got the Moto Strike. Magazine fed, semi-auto, mega stripe, takes 4C batteries. One of my favorite blasters of all time. Surprisingly, I thought I would not like it this much. The magazine's hard to get in though. The Ultra One, semi-auto, 25 round drum, pretty awesome for an ultra blaster. And the Ultra Four. Say four, yeah, it's the ultra four. So we got single barrel, two dart storage here, pretty great. Now, the shock wave. This blaster is okay. It's pump action, 15 rounds. This blaster is okay. It doesn't have slam fire. The performance is not that good. But with the venture force waffles, the performance is okay, actually. But with the lead dodge, it sucks. The Firefly Rev 8 has a cool little gimmick. So you put C batteries or AA batteries in here, and when you shoot it, there's a light. And it comes with suction dodge, but I don't have suction dodge because I got that good one. And we got the turbine magazine fed, 18 rounds, full auto. One of my favorite blasters of all time. Except for the jam door, which is absolutely horrible. The double fire. So it's break action, two shots. It's a shotgun, so it fires two at a time. And pretty good blaster. Actually, surprisingly. The Nerf Fortnite RPG, a missile launcher, single shot missile launcher, and pretty cool, it infects propulsion. The Strife, 10 rounds, magazine fed flywheeler, another one of my favorite blasters of all time. Lots of blasters here. The Nerf Rival Apollo. Top Prime. Magazine fed. It takes a seven rounder. And the only rival blaster I have in my collection that's mine.
And lastly, my favorite blaster out of all of these, it is the Nerf Alpha Strike Stinger. Just, just kidding. The Stinger's good, but not that good. Single shot. It is the Shockwave. Just kidding. No, sh Shockwave is okay. The number one best blaster out of all of this entire collection is the Adventure Force Villainator and the last blaster in this collection. Pump action, 40 rounds, removable drum, has a very cool stock, and the slam fire. That is the best. This is the best blaster I've used, and it's just so awesome. And for $20, this is a must-buy. But yeah, here we go. But yeah, and now we're going to do my top picks. So which blasters do I like of all time out of this? So this is my top five for real, this is my topic, this is the best blasters, I like, well actually, I'm going to do a top 7, top 7 best blasters. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about the dual strike, <laughs> oh my god, I forget things a lot. So you got Mega Elite, 3 shots, and you can change them by pulling this little switch. Mega and Elite. Pullback, fire, pretty awesome. But now it's time to reveal my top seven favorite blasters for this entire collection. So yeah. Number seven, the Elite 2.0 Volt. Number six, the Nerf Mega Cyclone Shock. Number five, the Nerf Mega Moto Strike. Number four, the Nerf Ultra Four. Number three, the Nerf Strife. Number two, the Nerf Elite 2.0 Turbine, and number one, the Rival Apollo, just kidding. The Firefly, no, just kidding. The Villainator, you probably guessed it, this blaster is so awesome, but yeah. That is my review of every single Nerf Blaster I own. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and my top picks. And I will see you guys in the next one.